commissions on arrests. Oh, you can yeah. look at their quotas, you can look at a whole bunch of other things. As libertarians, how can we shift the discussion more around reform along organizations that we consider more social justice oriented that do focus on these discussions? So I think the biggest thing is we have to tell the story. Uh, libertarians often get caught up in our philosophy and then after we talk about our philosophy, then we talk about how it applies to people. That's not how people work. So we often get caught up in thinking that we can create the uh, uh, the rebuttal proof argument, the most logical argument in human history, and we will present it to people and they'll go, my God, look at this argument. I can't come up with a single rebuttal to this unless I engage in a logical fallacy and I would never do such a thing. I am clearly a libertarian. That's not how it works. You have to tell a story, and it's not telling stories in line. You have to tell the story. You have to get people where they where they operate on an emotional level and explain how, and tell these stories of how people are being harmed. And that's how it works. Like, you have to tell a story of how these things are happening. Because the average person, they don't have that connection. Uh, if you haven't had that happen to you, then you don't have that connection of understanding that this is happening. And when you've been fed pro-authority propaganda most of your life, and the only times that you're seeing anti-authoritarianism is in like, you know, Star Wars and things like that, when in your life you're being told the police are here to protect you, the people that are in jail are criminals, and that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's some people that get wrongfully accused, but that doesn't happen often. We have to tell the story. We have to tell folks stories. And when we can do that, then that will allow people to connect with real reforms. Reforms that are based on making us safe. Because I got news for you. Khalif Browder? I can tell you how, I can't talk on Khalif's wow. behalf. Khalif killed himself because of trauma that happened from years of being put in a cage by himself when he may not have even done it. Let's say he did it. Let's say Khalif actually took the person's purse. Okay? You know how you deal with that? You get the purse back. Maybe you, you, you issue some kind of fine and you say, you know what, you have to do uh, some community service or you have to do, uh, you have to take a, a, a course on, uh, you know, on, uh, you know, and it's, a, and it's a free course. And, you know, we're not in favor of free programs, but it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper than putting them in jail for two years. You take a free course, uh, you know, talking about, you know, property rights or about how people own things or something like that. Oh, by the way, uh, you know, maybe there's a, there's a, a you know, a, a free education program we can put you through because this might be a, an issue of not being able to get, uh, you know, a good job or something like that. Restorative justice. Looking at the problem of why is it ha why it happened. Restoring the victim, making them whole, and then restoring the offender because there's probably a problem there too. And it would cost fractions of a penny on the dollar what it would cost to throw them in a cage and ruin their life. Now, instead, here's what I will tell you: If I were ended up in jail, if I ended up in jail for something I didn't do, and my life has been ruined for the rest of my life, I'm going to be extremely angry. Okay, and I'm probably going to end up doing things that I would have never done, possibly things that hurt other people because people that get abused often end up abusing other people, sometimes just as a form of lashing out. And in this case, I may have to do it just to be able to make ends meet, right? So it contributes to our streets being less safe, our communities being less safe. And I know that I'm, I'm preaching the choir more than likely, but these are the stories we have to tell people. Because if I just say to people, you know what, the cash bail system is a violation of our natural right and, and our due process rights and that the Constitution founders would have never approved such a thing. No one cares. A very few people care. We care. Outside of us, and maybe a handful of other people, there aren't a lot of people that care. Now, a lot of black.